டெக் இஷர் யுவர் ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸ் ரூம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு டியூட்டோரியல் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் ரவுட்டிங் நேவிகேஷன் இன் சிஆர்எம் அப்ளிகேஷன் இஃப் யூ வான் ஆ நோ அபவுட் ரவுட்டிங் ஐ ஹவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் டீடைலி இன் மை ஏர்லியர் வீடியோ யூ கேன் செக் இட் அவுட் த லிங்க் இன் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் பிலோ for making register routing i am just creating path as a register and component will be a user detail component next i am going to modify the user component logic here before i have used as a click event so now i am just removing the click event logic from the user component ts5 after that what i am going to do i am going to implement router link so the router which i have created register right i am just paste the content here that's it so i have removed the click event from my component html so i am just removing the respective method from my user component ts5 here hereafter on add user method is not required because i have removed the method right so that's it so now if i'm clicking the add user means should be navigate to register menu so the register user detail component should be navigate okay let me check if i'm clicking the add user it should navigate to register but it not works okay let me check in the console what's the issue yeah the issue will be i have made this as a relative route so the solution will be you have to make this route as a absolute route for making absolute route you have to prepare slash before your route that's it now we can check the application if i'm clicking add user should be navigate to my detail command yeah it works fine next i am just adding this routing into my navbar component html so here before i have add not at not yet added the register menu so now i am just adding the register menu in my navbar component html too so now i can click the register menu it should it will navigate to my register component now everything is works right now i am going to add some content for in my user detail component so for this component will be registration component right so i am just making this component header will be user registration form just a making for better readability so i'm just adding hr that's it after that i'm just going to perform some styling for this form so the styling will be so here the form width should be 60 percentage of my overall width so that's it uh, i think that's it let's we save all the files okay now we can check the application yeah it looks good right compared to earlier it looks good but the register menu is not yet active right so you have to make this register menu will be active once if you are navigating the register menu so i'm just copy the content from my existing routing menu and paste the content in my register routing that's it if i am clicking yeah it works fine that's it okay so now i am going to add some data if i'm clicking the save the record means should be added to my users yeah it works but it should navigate to my users but still it didn't navigate to my user right so we have to perform routing for this application so i'm going to implement routing navigation for the click event so for implementing routing i have to inject one service to my component ts5 the service will be router once i have inject the service i can use the service method the method will be this dot router navigate by url there will be lot of method is available i have just used navigate by url in this i am just passing the corresponding my which route i want to navigate for my the route will be users so i am just uh, adding users inside the functionality so once i am clicking the save button means it will navigate to my users yeah it works fine next what i am going to do i am going to implement two functionality for getting the desired result of our implementation the functionality will be edit button and delete button so that i am going to modify my existing component html logic so here i am just adding another one header action and also in my data folder i am just adding two buttons so the button will be one will be the edit button another one will be the delete button i have just using the existing styling which i have created in my style css so the styling will be button yes some small button and also for delete 
it will be the red color so i am just using the button danger classes that's it now we can check our application yeah it works fine looks good now i am going to implement click event for this two button so for performing click event i am just implementing click event binding inside my component file so the click event syntax will be click after that one method which it should be available in my component ts file right now what i am going to do i am going to implement delete functionality first for making delete functionality i am just copy the content from here and paste it into my component ts file here i have just passed the index value right so index as a number after that what i am going to do i am going to implement this logic in my service file so i am just creating another one method on delete user and the index inside the method i am just removing the particular content from my user list so with the help of splice method i am just removing the particular index of data that's it now what i am going to do i am going to use this method and call the method from my component ts file so the functionality will be this dot my user service dot on delete user because i have created the method on delete user right after that i have to pass my index to this function that's it that's it we can check now i am just adding some data for verifying the functionality if i am clicking save button yeah it works now i am clicking delete button yeah it works fine it was deleted from the list okay now we have completed delete functionality in next video we are going to implement edit functionality for performing edit functionality if i am clicking the edit button means you should be navigate to my register menu along with user id as a param so we are going to implement routing navigation along with routing param in next video in this video we have done one routing navigation with the help of navigate by url method in this video if you are having any doubt or if you are facing any issues please leave the comment if you like the video content is good please like and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel by the way this is money content signing off have a happy coding